right y'all so i recommend that you guys go and watch this video right here because i'm going to be explaining the different ball cap methods and that was a highly requested video and everything that you need to know about your wig lasting how to properly apply the wigs the lace adhesive just everything you need to know about a proper install please go and check that video out i'm also touching bases on anybody who has severe hair loss alopecia or anything like that from wearing wig installs is very educational so make sure you guys go and check that out before tuning into this video whatever order you may want to watch it in just make sure you go and check it out because it's very very informative skip past the ball cap method because that was explained in the video that i'm telling you guys to go and check out If you want your installs to last, especially if you want to get wet, you may be a heavy sweater, make sure you're using an oil-free makeup. If you're using a makeup that has a lot of oils in it, your, your lace is not going to last because no matter what glue you may be using, it's not going to last because of the simple fact that oil and adhesive does not mix. Then once you start to sweat, and then once you start to get wet, your own natural oils mixing in with the makeup oils, your makeup, I mean, your install just gonna lift up. That was a small clip from the previous video that I'm telling you guys to go and check out. But we're just gonna hop right into this install. And I'm gonna be using the Hold Me Down Adhesive by Erica J, which is myself, haha. <laughs> And I'm going to apply five layers of this because I'm actually going out of town and I do plan on getting wet and I know that I'm going to be sweating. I know it's going to be hot. So when you want your install to last that long with those circumstances, make sure you're using three to five or three to seven layers and make sure you're covering this much around your ball cap method and your hairline in general if you want your install to stick down under those circumstances. So in terms of you're not using enough adhesive, I'm not speaking in terms of layers. I'm speaking in terms of covering your hairline in the ball cap method. You have to use this much in width from the hairline to the front of your skin or to the front of your hairline on the ball cap if you want your install to stick. And like in the previous video, you have to do the ball cap method if you want your install to last a long period of time. If you're that person who's doing lace installs on top of your skin with no ball cap method, unfortunately, your lace is not going to last. It's not going to be waterproof the way you're expecting it to be because you have to do those steps. Putting the adhesive on the cap and then adding layers on top of the cap creates a velcro type of method and this has been proven i have been studying this i have been just experimenting with it especially with my own brand because i want you guys to have the best results possible this is absolutely one of my favorite companies to work with you guys can really trust this company and the lace does come pre-plucked essentially this wig didn't come with the knots bleached already, so I did go in and bleach the knots, but I only did it around the hairline because the hairstyle that I'm going for today, I didn't want the rest of the, um, you know, the rest of the lace in the back to be messed up, and I'm going to show you guys why towards the end. Once you lay the wig down onto your hairline, you can proceed with a hot comb. And I like to do this method, especially when I'm trying to get a super, super melted wig install because the heat from the hot comb just makes the wig stick down even better. Like you will feel it. So like I said, I didn't want the part to be messed up because you know, sometimes you can over bleach it. And yes, even though sometimes the, the bleach may bleed down into the rest of the hair, you can fix it, but I just didn't really wanna have a headache with that today. And I just only bleached the hairline because the part is something you can create an illusion with as long as you don't over process and over bleach the knots and you can just add makeup on the part for it to be super defined. But just look at that hold, and I didn't even attach my band around my hairline yet, 
and it's just holding. This is the makeup that I like to use. If you've been here from day one, you may have seen this on plenty and mostly all of my videos, like literally most in all of them. This lace front wig is very high in density. It has so much hair, like just, it's so amazing. And I did go in and pluck my hairline while it was on my head. And I didn't tint the lace because I like to do this method better than I like to tint the lace when it's off your head. I feel like this is an, a better technique. And if you see somebody else doing this, they got it from me, period, because nobody else was doing this. But anywho, I like to do that step after it's already on your head because you can actually see like, okay, do I need to spray more so it can be darker or do I just need to spray a little bit and just look how amazing it comes out when it's like that. And make sure you get your hold me down adhesive because honey, this wig is not going nowhere. Even after I sprayed the lace tint on it, it's not going anywhere. No slips, all grips. At this point, my brain just about to come out my head because hold me down is holding me down. And that's just that. And right now I'm just gonna take some water and just spray it on my hair. And then we're gonna get into the molding process. By the way, this is a transparent lace and I love to work with transparent laces because you can actually control how your hair is going to come out because you can tint the lace to your actual skin tone. And when you're using a transparent lace, you absolutely have to make sure that you are tinting the lace because makeup is just not gonna cut it. You still wanna have an ashy looking hairline. So make sure you're using lace tint whenever you are using a transparent lace or it's just not gonna look cute at all. But you know, we taking the Fluff Stuff Styling Foam. I recommend you guys follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated to when those come in stock because it's kind of hard to say it through a YouTube video because you can watch these videos literally at any time or you may see this video a year from now and I'm saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna restock on the 7th. Honey, when is the 7th? So I recommend you guys go ahead to my Instagram page and follow me at Hair by Erica. But this is going to be the molding process that I was talking about and I love to spray water first and then use the um, styling foam because it just it's just better to me that's just my opinion but you're going to sit under the dryer after that and like just watch the hairstyle come together and this hair is so beautiful like I didn't even add any products to this besides the water and the styling foam and right now we're just going to get into the styling process wait pause this is my brand new product that is going to be releasing very very soon and like i said make sure you follow me on instagram so you can stay updated to when that is going to drop I know y'all probably wondering well what the heck is it like tell us what it is girl so basically what it is it is a heat protecting agent as well as a finishing spray so you can use this to press your hair out and protect your your hair so it doesn't have any heat damage and after your install or your hairstyle is finished whether you have braids 
anything, any hairstyle that you may have or any hairstyle that you can think of, you can spray this finishing spray on top of it and it's going to give it a glossy and just luxurious finish. Y'all see that steam coming from this hot comb? Like, first of all, the heat protectant is doing its job. And by the way, it's called Sleek Sheen by Erica J. But besides that, this hair is very, very, very durable because any other hair probably would have burnt by now. You would have seen brown crisps coming from the hair because of how hot this hot comb is. But this hair is amazing and the heat protectant is just doing its job for sure. And just to add on to the molding process, I'm just taking the wax stick, the Frizz Bully Wax Stick by Erica J, and just molding the, the hair down even more because I just really want this install to be flat. Like, don't you guys hate those bulky hairstyles? Yeah, that's not cute. But like I said earlier in this video, the reason why I didn't go all the way back with bleaching the knots is because I knew that I wanted a crispy part. And I knew that I could just add makeup to make it look amazing. So if you guys ever want to do that, you don't have to worry about bleaching your knots all the way to the back you can just bleach the hairline because you can just go in and define your part and over the days or if you just want to do it right now you can just get like a comb or something and just smudge the makeup down into the hair but once you wrap your hair down the makeup is gonna slowly but surely just melt down and settle into the lace so it won't look like that the whole way through your install it eventually will just start to look natural but i like this technique better than bleaching the knots all the way to the back because one, it allows your wig to last longer, your lace to last longer, and also you can switch the part at any time without having to worry about like, you know, oh, it's bleach bled onto the roots of the hair. Like all of that is just not cute at all. But like I said, you guys can go to Beauty Forever to purchase this wig. And I'm gonna put all of the details in the description box. This is a 26 inch straight lace front wig 13 by 6 and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did i hope you learned and i hope you guys use the techniques that i've taught you and apply them in your installing process and this is a few days later of me having the wig installed and it's still looking bomb and i also did a removal video for you guys so go ahead and check that out see you next time